you want to make a game in Unity, but whenever you load a new scene, the background music restarts playing. Don't worry, I have a solution for you. In your Unity scene, you need to create a canvas and add a button. The same procedure for importing TMP, like in the previous videos. Now, the button has to be out of size because you want to be able to see the text. Inside the button you should write next scene. This will be the button for the next scene. Copy the scene and make sure that this is the second scene in which you can go back to the previous scene. Type previous scene button. And you should create a script that will power these two. Import new asset and choose from your folder. I will pick a file from the music folder. You can pick any file from your computer. To make the audio source play in the scene, you need to go to Audio, Audio Source, and drop it inside this field. But before adding the script, make a game object that will be the parent of the button. This parent object should be part of both scenes. Don't forget to add it on the next scene. Now go to Visual Studio and write this code. You need to add Scene Manager to load the scene. The scene 1 for the next scene. The scene 0 for the previous scene. Go to on click and click and drag the game object. Select Next Scene for the Next Scene button and Previous Scene for the Previous Scene button. Simply do it by clicking and dragging. Here comes the very important part, Build Manager. Add open scenes or drag them into the scenes to build. As you can hear, the music plays at the beginning, but when you click Next Scene button, it reverts to the beginning of the sample. Let's see how to fix it. Because this script will only be used for loading the scenes, make a new script that will be for the background music. And in this background music script, you need to define an instance that won't be destroyed every time a new scene is loaded. To do that, you need to add don't destroy on load. But these lines before are very important. If background music isn't null, destroy game object. Else background music is set to this, which means this game object. If you accidentally wrote it in your script, cut it and paste it in the new script. This is the script that you have to create on the audio object, which is the background music. Just save both scripts and go back to Unity. And try again. As you can hear right now, the music is playing between scenes. Perfect! But... I will make one optional part of the video, adding the mute button, which is a toggle. Stay tuned if you're interested. Right click to the canvas and add a toggle. So basically, what does a toggle do? It has a label and a button. Instead of toggle, you should write mute music or music off anything you want. But I set to music on. I will change it later. You have to add a new script that will be for the toggle. Follow me and you'll be able to implement it in the right way. Public void mute music, because we want it to be mute, is muted. This is the boolean that will check. This will be the toggle value, true or false. If the audio is muted, 
the audio listener should be zero, else it should be one. Audio listener, volume zero, else audio listener, volume one. Go to on state changed, click and drag the music toggle and don't select from the down menu, select the first one that you see, mute music. This is how it works. If you want to set it to mute the music, then change music on to mute music and is on, which is located in the toggle should be set to false. You can also add it on the second scene, but you don't necessarily need it. With that kind of button, you'll be able to mute it by playing and it will be set to true. The toggle will be set to false, which means the music isn't mute. I will make more videos every week or two weeks, depending on my free time. Goodbye and have a good day.